The Los Angeles Chargers are getting even better. They just added JC Jackson to a five year contract worth $82.5 million, which comes out to an average annual value of $16.5 million. Think about this the Chargers have now added Khalil Mack, JC Jackson, to go along with Joey Boza, Derwin James, Asante Samuel Jr., who they drafted last year, uh, as well as Kenneth Murray Jr., another linebacker that I absolutely love coming out of college. The Chargers really have something going for their defense. Now let's talk a little bit about JC Jackson and kind of how it impacts the Raiders because the Raiders were, were truly in on JC Jackson and apparently according to sources they were they wanted to uh, bring him in and they even offered made an offer for him. Now JC Jackson is connected to the Raiders uh, general manager and coach as we brought the former New England guys over here uh, but ultimately JC Jackson decided to go to the Chargers. Uh, they offered him the most guaranteed money and for the Raiders, we now missed out on the number one cornerback coming out of this free agency class. Uh, there was another corner that I wanted the Raiders to get, the number two cornerback, and he just signed as well. Uh, that is the Buccaneers cornerback, Carlton Davis. Uh, Carlton Davis is expected to re-sign with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and he will stay with their, uh, it'll likely be a short-term contract for Davis. The numbers aren't out yet. That means the two top corners are off the board. Now think about it this way. The Raiders will be playing the best quarterbacks, uh, three top seven quarterbacks in Patrick Mahomes and Russell Wilson, as well as Justin Herbert. And of course, the Raiders have a really good quarterback as well, but we also need to figure out a way to slow down those quarterbacks. The perfect way would have been to either target Carlton Davis or even JC Jackson. Now, we will not be able to bring either of these guys in. There are some options still. We'll get into those a little bit later on. Uh, but players are going off the board quickly. And it seems like the Raiders are silent and haven't even made any sort of impacts. They haven't even brought in their own guys back yet, which isn't a big deal, right? I, it, truth be told, I, I think it makes sense to actually kind of wait, right? If you're not going to go all in on JC Jackson or Teron Armstead or one of these top players, then you kind of sit back and wait and, and let the players kind of come to you, all right? Also, you got to think about it like this, right? The Raiders did bring in a whole new regime. Uh, they also understand where our cap is. They also understand where the, this roster kind of is. Uh, I, I still believe that the Raiders had a really good offensive uh, system last year. Uh, obviously, with our coach being gone, it didn't pan out. But I do think that this coaching staff understands that our offense was still really good. We we're really talented last year. And we still have a lot of those same guys, right? Minus Henry Ruggs, we're pretty much the same offense from last year to this year. So we will add some pieces. Rather, that's a little bit later on during, during the, as the draft kind of uh, comes along or as free agency kind of comes along. The Raiders will still bring in a ton of players. Uh, day one is typically the big name contracts. And obviously, the Raiders haven't hit on any of the corners yet. Uh, but there's still three guys that I really like, right? Uh, the first and foremost, the guy that I think the Raiders can absolutely target is Stefan Gilmore. Uh, 31 years old, he's still a superstar player. He's out there. And I know a lot of people are saying he'll go back to Carolina. He'll go back, which is, you know, where he was traded to. And obviously, the, the reports where he wanted to stay there and finish his career in the area that he grew up in. Uh, but I do think that Gilmore also wants to compete and, and win. And I truly believe that the Raiders targeting a guy like that, he may understand that this Raiders team is, is looking to win in the next three to four years. We re-signed Max Crosby. Last year, we bring in Unique Nkakwe to really fix that defense up. Uh, we bring in some guys on the offense side of the ball last year, and we'll still bring in more players this year. But if it's not those two guys, another player that I like is the corner from San Francisco, uh, DJ Reed, as well as the Rams cornerback, uh, Denarius Williams. Those two guys could be options as well. I know they're not the big name guys and a lot of people don't know those guys, but they could be good scheme fits for Patrick Graham. Uh, at the same time, you look at some of what the Raiders have been doing, um, re-signing your guys, making it known that Max Crosby's here for the long run. Derek Carr, we're going to go all in on him and get him some weapons. He's our week one starter, as Josh McDaniel said. Uh, you can still bring in some other corners. Alternatively, there's still the, the draft, right? The 22nd overall pick could get you one of the top corners, right? Andrew Booth Jr. Um, maybe you get the corner out of Florida, right? So there's a lot of corners that are going to potentially be there for you to take up the 22nd overall pick. Uh, obviously, J.C. Jackson is off the board, or as is Carlton Davis. At this point, if it isn't Stephon Gilmore, I'm not giving you know more than 12 to $13 million for any other corner. All right, Gilmore's the last guy that I would target if I'm the Raiders. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.